Det er noget af det dummeste i verden, når man graffiti maler. Jeg tog afsted for at male kl. 6 i går aftes, og nu er jeg først lige kommet hjem. Jeg har ligget i 8 timer i en fucking bus, og gemt mig fra politiet og deres klamme snusende hunde. Det var fucking koldt, og det var vådt, og nu er jeg blevet forkølet. Jeg hader at være forkølet. Jeg er færdig med graffiti. Jeg er træt af sjoldere. Jeg er træt af sjoldere, der ikke kan holde deres kæft. Jeg er træt af sjoldere, der snakker lort. Jeg er træt af bøder. Jeg er træt af politiet. Jeg er træt af byretten. Jeg er træt af at blive mistænkeliggjort, fordi jeg ikke lever mit liv, som alle jer fucking pikslikkere. Sjælløse pikslikkere. Hvad fanden er det her for en bog? We call ourselves spray Uzi because uh, we use the spray can to spray and then the, the, the Uzi, the Uzi part is the machine gun. So instead of using the machine gun, we use the cans. The Uzi can spray, you know, it sprays bullets. We spray ourselves an artwork. We spray the artwork. So that's why we call ourselves Spray Uzi. I think we can come up with a concept, you know. Me, I was thinking of a, a money lazima instead of an ex, like a statement. Uh -huh. It's a, a money lazima as a question mark. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's peaceful out, out there because unga, it's really expensive and that's the main thing. So we do something. We do, we do, we do something yeah. uh, uh, with a, a theme about uh, yeah, just this pricing, the, the, the price, prices. yeah, price. Something to do with something to do with the food, and then me, I was thinking my my idea was also like having a child involved. Yeah. yeah. So you can imagine like a kid doing that, holding the bag of unga, mm -hmm. and doing that freedom thing. Wow. You know yeah, that yeah, can be fun. One. You know, yeah. like holding the food. No hunger, no peace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no hunger, no peace. <laughs> Invited to Malindi uh, to do this uh, big war uh, about, about drug addiction. This Malindi place is the coastal town of Kenya, so we we're gonna travel um, like 900 kilometers from Nairobi to Malindi to uh, to do an art form, an artwork about uh, drug addiction. 
and I hope this is gonna uh, stop uh, the, the menace that is really huge over there. I hope it's gonna talk to the peddlers and I hope it's gonna talk to the, uh, the addicts and we hope it's gonna be positive in Malindi. I hope that the people around there are gonna appreciate the art form. It's to make this place nice, you know? As much as it's under, under the bridge, it still could look nice. Even when those drug addicts come here, they'll, the color will affect them, most definitely. And so it's important that those drug addicts, the drug users, the abusers, the losers, they, they learn, they learn from what we're doing. Yeah, Lily, I'm coming here to see you. I'm going to have a fresh. 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 Yes, we are here to know where the occupants are going to be. We are here to see you. 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 Yeah, no drugs. No drugs. Mostly, um, people associate the, the sp something coming out of the spray like uh, the doom, you know, like um, um, the insecticide, you know, stuff that are, is going to kill an insect. But for, for it to remove paint and paint, do an, a whole artwork onto it, that's something new for, for Kenyans. They just see you using the spray can and you're, you're creating a picture with it or maybe you're, you're creating some really colorful text. It's like they just want to see you continue doing it. So they ask you to, to paint a, a certain portion on their wall and they see it. It's like they ask you, can you, can you extend it to this side? Can you add something here? Graffiti is a is an art form that is new so it's there's, there's no way i can tell that it's illegal or it's legal because it's yet to be to be put out there it's yet to be allowed in most people don't consider it as vandalism provided you're not painting a, on a church wall or on a school wall or something like that mostly the city council will be the ones on your neck and not not really the police because the police um have a lot to a lot of things to to stop a lot of crime to stop they don't perceive art as a crime yet yet Thank you.